Good morning. It's your guy Rashad here at Action Sports Bar and Grill in Kent, Washington with another follow me to work day in the life of a bar owner, food truck owner. This is the Taylor Swift edition, the third and final video of that crazy, crazy ass weekend, uh, record setting weekend for us in sales. We broke it the first day of the concert, came back the second day, broke that record. Um, so wild, nuts. Uh, this was just a taste of the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, if you like the video, please do make sure to give us a, a like, a follow, um, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. Really helpful for the small business owner. So we appreciate y'all taking the time. Uh, check us out if you're ever in town. Get some of this food, man. Get some of these drinks. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the video. Mount Rainier looking beautiful this morning. Right and early. Big girl's ready for day two, Taylor Swift. Crazy busy sellout day yesterday. Our new single event record. Quite a crazy ass day and night. Slept in an extra hour today to try to have enough energy to get through the whole day. Wish I had the stamina, big girl, she ready to go. Big brother will be here in a minute to start the load in. <clears throat> I decided to start with everybody else at seven today. But um, yeah, it was a lot last night. That was a whole lot. So let's see if we can do it again. Hop back in the kitchen right away. Get started on prep because we didn't do much last night. By the time we got here and cleaned up, it was pretty much midnight. So I got an Instacart order of some new water since we went through about 10, 12 cases yesterday. So that showed up at least. Pretty sure we're gonna have some shopping to do this morning, which is somewhat unfortunate because we're very short on time. So because the truck has to be there, when it has to be there, I am gonna have to depend on our support staff to get everything else we need and get down there within the hour of me getting there so we can open up and do Another crazy sellout service. I mean, we went and handed everybody in our line, which was probably about 40 deep at the time. We just gave everybody a free mama's cookie. Cause we knew a lot of them would be back the next day and we knew people had been waiting in lines all day for Taylor Swift stuff, so. Did our best to hook them up, let them know we'll be back, but anyways. I'll see y'all on this day two of Follow Us to Work, Action Sports Bar and Grill, the Taylor Swift Eras Tour.
try to cut in this line, they will fuck you up. The same do it here, sure. you will ever see big girl i can promise you that much taylor swift was about to finish a show we weren't ignoring our normal backup but we got no services tomorrow the only food we're keeping in this is either frozen or refrigerated anyways so i was like just throw this shit in here y'all we out the door we out the door peace peace bye it's kind of helped day. out great day right yeah sold out what's your favorite part all of it all of it was so nice and like patient it was fun. Everyone was so excited about everything. That's awesome. Yeah. Right there. Truck lead doing her thing. Yeah. Uh-oh, GM's coming too? Holler. 
Jim's in the house too. We finally made it back to the bar. We're in front doing our thing. What'd you girls get? Uh, Take home to eat. Chicken nuggets and mozzarella sticks. Okay. You want me to bring some brisket home? Yes. I don't care. I'm good. Holler. They finally get a day off after like 70 plus hours this week. Oh, my God. We're going to go sleep. Oh, I need to clock out. We're going to for one day. Okay, we'll All right, y'all. Go do your thing. We out, y'all. Uh, all wrapped up. I figured I'd close this night out at the crib. I'm beat, yo. I'm wore out. I think I'd be sick as Taylor Swift by now, but might as well close out the weekend with it, you know, so very profitable, very exhausting. It was a good experience for us first year having the truck, and this is the biggest event that we did sales-wise, also just volume-wise, and it was just a grind, y'all. It was just a grind. Um... <clears throat> Anyways, let me turn that down. Yeah. Crew got it done today. Alex and Nori were a huge help. Jumping on the truck and helping out. Jamar, obviously. Clutch, Jill, Skylar doing her thing on the front of the house. It was a total team effort. We had Hernan and Miguel were back at the house or back at the bar helping out. Uh, Maddie was helping getting all the orders in. Bartending staff helped us get some of the flatware and serveware ready. Helped us get some drinks ready before we took off. So it was a total team effort, and I'm super proud of the team, you know, for only being a food truck that's not even a year old yet to be tackling these kind of events. It, 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 it bodes well for us with Seahawks season coming right around the corner and a second truck coming and more opportunities for us. So, uh, very proud of the squad. Thank you, Action Team. Y'all did great. Um, <clears throat> nothing going on tomorrow. We just will get the truck reset and cleaned up for another busy week coming up. Um, but we at least get a day to rest and relax tomorrow. I know the girls are going to really appreciate that because they've been going super hard. But um, set a single season or a single season. Single day sales record yesterday, going over the $8,000 mark. Today we beat that, went over the $9,000 mark. Um, and on a food truck that, you know, we were we were cutting deals, giving everybody everything at 13 bucks. You know, we, we were embracing this Taylor Swift thing, so we lowered our prices. Um, and to still come out of there with sales records is real nice, so it's, uh, also gives us some confidence going forward that our food's pretty well received and uh, can kind of fit any event. So, yes. I don't know what this behind the same thing even showed, um, but I can tell you it's a lot of work going into it. All the folks who are thinking, yeah, I'm just gonna get a food truck and just bop in and bop out and, you know, stop go do a follow on a food truck with some people in and see how their whole day goes first before you quit that corporate nine to five and uh, sink your life savings into building out a food truck because I run a bar and restaurant and then a food truck and the food truck is harder. It is. in a lot of ways. There's some ways that the bar is more difficult and presents bigger problems, but like actual having to work as an owner operator, yeah, you're on the food truck, you you in it. <laughs> you're, you, you're right there, so be sure your health feels pretty good and you're able to move around and you got a pretty decent energy level because it's not like an office job. It's not even like, you know, bartending. You know, it's a mixture of all that shit all day long. So after a, after a weekend, after a week like this, it make you definitely um, reconsider choices. You know, it's easy for me. I love this industry. I've always loved hospitality. You know, this is what I do. So 
I feel fortunate that I have that going for me. For the folks out there who are just like, thought this looked good numbers wise and they were gonna try it out because their friend told them, I mean, shit, I feel sorry for y'all because it's a rude awakening. If the same what you do and you're not used to this, you know, 15, 16, 17 hour days on your feet running around, then, um, yeah, like I said, keep that, keep that day job, man. But, uh, super happy. I'll get into the numbers and uh, all the analytics once, you know, we slow up for a second and I have a second to look at it. I can't wait to, you know, really break it down and just help us get better every time. This being a first year truck and us still kind of getting our feet underneath us, uh, analyzing the data is still a big part of what we do to try to help make decisions going forward so uh yeah it should be interesting mac and cheese shit it don't matter who you are you like mac and cheese white black asian young old middle of the summer don't matter people like mac and cheese so um that's been a hit for us the brisket obviously the smoked brisket nice and tender that, that one's like is killing it right now so the soul bowl is catching off which is like our little version of a um it's like a sampler platter. You get all four options on the plate at once with the meat and three sides. Uh, those did pretty good. But basic shit is what was selling this weekend, too. A lot of just plain no meat mac. People just wanted just no meat mac. And uh, lemonades, scratch lemonades and strawberry lemonades. And um, So it was a good experience for us. Thanks again to Lumen uh, giving us a shot. We're looking forward to working with them again for Seahawks training camp coming up here quick and a couple of Seahawks games. We want to take in over a kiosk down there in the stadium. They allow small businesses to do that to kind of showcase their food. So that's something we want to try to get into next year during the Seahawks season or at least the Sounders uh, season to get down there and, uh, you know, have a little kiosk open up right down there in the stadium and, and, and show people what we do too. So. Uh, exciting times, get the staffing right, add some people uh, in the kitchen, uh, find a little more kitchen space, and we, we're going to be off and running for 2024, so um, this is a nice way to end out uh, third quarter, um, is the stuff we have going this week, uh, this month, and uh, as the weather changes and food trucks slow down and a lot of people close up, we're going to stay open and just keep perfecting our craft. Uh, obviously, we won't be doing 14 or 16 services every month. It'll be more like six. But um, the good news is that that still gives us an opportunity to get better at what we're doing. So that's what that is.